So the Browns laid an absolute egg in their season opener, losing to the Cowboys 33-17. to There's a lot of frustration. There's a lot of anger. And all of it is completely reasonable and understandable because they were crap today. I mean, they laid an absolute egg. I am going to start by saying it is week one. The world is not over. There is a lot of season left. So, no, I don't believe the Browns are just done for the way they looked in week one today. Okay. But I do think there are some big issues. And it's not just Deshaun Watson that need to be fixed. In fact, I have four issues with the Browns that must be fixed before week two in Jacksonville against the Jacks. Now, the order of the issues can be debated. But I'm not going to debate whether or not these four issues belong in this category. Issue number one, penalties. The Browns were penalized 11 times, nine offensively. You are not going anywhere if you have nine penalties on offense. And what you'll see is these four issues all tie into one another and create what was the Browns offense that only had One first down in the first half because it felt like it was a wash, rinse, wash, rinse, repeat of a a legal shift, a false start, just dumb penalties that really are inexcusable outside of one or two, not nine times offensively. Issue number one, penalties on the offense pre-snap. Issue number two, offensive line. Sean Watson, who we'll get to next, was running for his life today. And by no means is Watson excused because the offensive line did not have a great game. But man, do they miss Jed Wills and Jack Conklin. Dewan Jones was getting bullied by Micah Parsons. The Cowboys' defensive line, in my opinion, won this game for the Dallas Cowboys. Like, Dak and the offense did a good job of converting in the first half. They put up a lot of points. They put it in cruise control. But... This game, I feel like for Dallas, was won at the line of scrimmage as they bullied the Browns' offensive line. Watson was sacked five times, 45 pass attempts, 24 for 45, 169 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. I mean, one of his two interceptions was caused by the Cowboys' defensive line. Micah Parsons batting the ball up, intercepted by Eric Kendricks. So, penalties on the offense. Bad game from the offensive line. Joel Petonio, like, I love Joel. I think he's a future Browns Hall of Famer. That one play where Watson threw it deep to Cooper in the last five minutes and Cooper dropped a touchdown was a perfect pass from Watson as he was stapled to the turf because the Browns offensive line had that kind of game. So that brings me to issue number three. Deshaun Watson just wasn't good enough today. Like, I don't think any other quarterback would have done any much better with the penalties the offense had and the offensive line play. But by no means are you going to win a lot of games going 24 for 45 or 169 yards. Like, Watson needs to get better. Like, he has to be better. I will say there were three and soon to be four notable quarterbacks coming back from injuries. Deshaun Watson, Joe Burrow, Kirk Cousins. All three had bad Sundays. All three lost. And we'll see how Aaron Rodgers does on Monday Night Football. So there can be a little bit of like reasoning given to first game back. Probably not the sharpest. Some cobwebs to shake off. But yeah, Watson had a bad game. Like No one should say otherwise. But no one should say the only issue with the Browns today was Deshaun Watson. I I don't buy that whatsoever. You can take Watson out and put Jameis Winston in. It's still a double-digit loss. Issue number four. <clears throat> Brown's ground game was, was useless. Like, look at Jerome Ford's stats here in a moment. There was it, I felt like I was on a, a broken record of handoff to Ford, gain of four, tackled. Jerome Ford and the ground game, that 11-yard run in the fourth quarter in wa- garbage time, it don't even look at the touchdown. Like, I hate when they score at the end of games to make the score a little bit better. No, this was a 33-10 to 10 final. My eyes, he went 11 carries for 40 yards. Like, one run for 11. There was nothing on the ground for the Browns. 
So, to recap the Browns' issues today. Penalties on offense, offensive line, Deshaun Watson inconsistency, and a lack of a ground game. Those are four things that must be corrected. Now, it's okay if you maybe lose week one and you had one of those four things, right? Where you're like, we didn't get much of a ground game going, but Watson looked great, so we just got to fix the ground game. No, there's a shit ton of things for Stefanski and this coaching staff to do going into week two. They got to fix at least two of those four things. I mean, they're not going anywhere if those four issues persist. And maybe they can fix two out of the first four by getting Jed Wills and Jack Conklin back. Coaching staff in the illegal shifts, I mean, it just looked like they weren't prepared. I mean, guys were just being, like, silly in the minor infractions, but fair infractions of just not knowing the rules. How are you that ill-prepared week one? I mean, you can make mistakes once a game, okay, but time and time and time again, it was illegal formation, illegal shift, false start at home. What are we doing? Can't have it. Cannot have it. It was a never-ending issue for the Browns offensively. We'll talk about the rest of the game here in just a second. I do want to give a quick shout-out to our sponsor today, which is Game Time. So, if you are looking to catch a Browns game because you're not giving up after a Week 1 loss, which no one should give up after a Week 1 loss, by the way, get started with Game Time today. See, Game Time is a new feature called Game Time Picks that makes getting tickets to see your favorite teams play live even easier. Game Time Picks filters out the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply, but again, create an account and redeem code CHAT Sports for $20 off. Download Game Time today. What time is it? Game Time. I also think it's worth mentioning that just credit should be given to the Cowboys. Like a lot of times when a team loses, the reaction is man, everything the Browns did today is awful, and they're the only ones to blame. Like maybe just recognizing. Hey, the Cowboys had a great game, too. Like, it's not like the Browns lost by themselves. The Cowboys made it pretty easy for the Browns to lose based on the way they came in with a good preparation. Like, Miles Garrett had a good first quarter and first half-ish. And what did Dallas do? They responded. They started moving the pocket for Dak, right? They were always moving away from Miles Garrett. Do you notice that? And there's pros and cons to that because when you put your quarterback on, like, a bootleg to run to the right... Well, every step he takes towards the sideline, he's kind of narrowing the field down because he's running towards the defender, which is the sideline, and he's shrinking the field because it's very difficult to throw across your body. But Dallas had a game plan. Like, they weren't going to let Garrett completely dominate them. Garrett still got his licks in. He still had a strip sack, but they did not let him take over the game. So give credit to Dak, Micah, CD, and Mike McCarthy. They came in with a good strategy, and it worked. Meanwhile, Stefanski and Ken Dorsey, back to the drawing board, because there was really no plan for the Cowboys' defense. It felt like it was, whatever the plan was, we never overcame it because we were always in third and long. Like, when the game was still, you know, in reach in the first half, I mean, Tom Brady said it a million times, you're not going anywhere if you're constantly in third and long. And that's true. Maybe you convert some of them, but you're going to find yourself in third and long in the next set of downs, and you're punting then. So for me, it just goes back to avoiding third and long situations, which all stemmed from penalties, bad offensive line leading to five sacks by uh, on Deshaun Watson, poor play from Watson in general, and then no ground game. Never able to like get a, a spark play off the ground to get yourself out of a hole. If you, fell, if you fell back to 1st and 15. All right. That's it for today's video. I wish it was a better video or a happier video. But it's, it's a bummer losing week one. Bummer is downplaying it. There's nothing worse than starting off 0-1 in the NFL. 
because it feels like the year's over before it even begins. I'm here to say it's a long season. Take a deep breath. Relax. 